Hi guys, it's Maria with the Easy Pantry, and today we're going to be making a paleo chicken curry over rice. To start off, this is a, a great crock pot meal. You can start in the morning, and then once you come home from work or wherever you are during the day, you're ready to finish up your meal in a few minutes. You've got a great meal to put on the table. But to start off, we're going to turn our crock pot on low and throw about two tablespoons of oil in it. A couple glugs around the bottom. While that heats up, let's get everything ready. We have a knife and cutting board, regular knife, and we have a paring knife. I have a spoon to stir with and a can opener as well as all of my ingredients right here. All right, so to start out with, we need to get everything ready. We have an onion, an apple, and garlic to chop up. So let's start with the apple. We're gonna peel our apple. We're gonna use our paring knife. We grab the knife blade and we're gonna peel it the skin off before we cut it up. Using my thumb as a guide and I'm pulling it, pulling the knife towards my thumb to peel the apple. Now if you have another method that works for you, go for it. Just peel that skin right off. The apple is going to add so much to this dish. A little tinge of sweetness and a fruity flavor makes a wonderful addition to a curry. All right, pop that peel off, set it aside for compost. Now we're ready to chop our apple. So we're gonna cut right down the middle. Now we have a flat surface to deal with. Throw that right down on the cutting board and cut it in half again. Now, we have the core still in the apple. To cut that out, I'm just gonna cut, my, cut it off at an angle like that. And there I have a cored slice of apple. Very easy, very safe. You can chunk it right up from there. All right, set the core aside. Now what I'm gonna do is dice this up. I'm gonna cut it into about thirds and then just do a quick chop. Do the same thing with the other three quarters. Now this apple will lend a lot of flavor during all the hours of cooking in the crock pot. It will soften up and it will blend all that flavor in. All right, go ahead, throw that in the crock pot. All right, now let's get on and add our onion to all of this. Cut off the ends. And do a little slice down the side to loosen that outer layer. Give you an opportunity to peel it right off like that. Smooth. Nice and easy. Cut it right down from head to toe. Flat surface down and we're just going to coarsely chop it. Now you could cut your onion into strips for a little bit more texture. It's fun when curries have a little extra texture. I'm just doing a coarse chunking here. Do the same thing with the other onion half. All right, let's pop that in our crock pot too. In it goes. It's going to start heating right up. All right, let's add our garlic. <coughs> Grab your cloves, crush them with the side of your knife, and that will loosen the outer skin. Now you notice my cloves have little sprouts. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just a new little garlic plant starting. It still tastes like garlic. It's great. All right, do a quick chop lengthwise and then dice up your garlic. All right, now throw that diced garlic into the, pot, into the crock pot. There we go. All right, now everything is chopped up. We're good to go. Let's add our chicken broth and our diced tomatoes. Grab your can opener. Those fresh, the freshly canned red diced tomatoes are going to add so much flavor and color to this dish. They're packed when they're nice and ripe. Nothing artificial added. In they go. And we're going to pop in a can of chicken broth on top of that. All 
All right. Open up that chicken broth. Dump it right on in. All right. Now, we have the chicken and the spices and raisins to add. Now, raisins are a classic in a lot of curries. They add a little delicate sweetness and a little character, a little unexpected character to a dish. Go ahead, throw them in there on top of the onions and everything else. Make sure you get all of them out there. All right, now we're gonna throw the spices in there too. Sprinkle them in there on top. All right, and add the chicken. Cut open the package. And toss in those chicken thighs. All that delicious hormone-free meat that makes this dish. All right, I'm giving it a good stir here. And we're gonna leave this crock pot on low for about six hours and everything is gonna be cooked and blended together via delicious chicken curry. All right, let's pop that on low for six hours and we'll come back and we'll shred the chicken. All right guys, our chicken curry has been cooking in the crock pot for about six hours. Now it's time to make our cauliflower rice. All right, with this paleo meal, we're gonna have cauliflower and we're gonna mash it up and that's gonna create what we call a rice and we'll put the chicken curry on top of. So I have a nice saucepan here. I filled it with about eh, two cups of water and a good pinch of salt and I turn it on high. We're gonna get it boiling right away. We're gonna put our cauliflower in there to cook. It's gonna zap for a little bit, soften it up so we can mash it. Go ahead and open your big cauliflower. We're gonna cut off all these extra leaves on the bottom. Then pull off those extra leaves that are hanging on to the head of cauliflower. Set them aside for your compost. There we go. I'm gonna cut off that stem a little bit more. We don't really need it. All right, there's our big head of cauliflower. Let's cut it in half. See all those little florets? What we're gonna do is cut them off. Makes it nice and easy and a little less crumbly to deal with. There we go, now we're left with the stem. We'll use that too, we're not gonna throw that away. Now I'm gonna take these florets and I'm just gonna cut them into small pieces. The smaller the pieces are, the faster it will cook. So here we go, let's cut those florets up. See this little grainy texture of the, of the cauliflower will soften up a little bit and we can mash it. All right, my water is already boiling. It's so super fast. I'm chunking up the florets, there we go. All right, now the stem here, what we're gonna do, I'll take off that extra leaf. And what we're going to do is just do a little dicing of it so that it's about the size and it will cook about as quickly as the florets. Go ahead and set those off to the side and do the same thing with the other half. Off come the florets. There we go. Let's just chop those up quickly. Now if you get a little ahead of yourself and cover up that cutting board with um, cauliflower. Just push it off, take a nice pile or put it in a bowl. You wanna be safe when you're cutting. All right, almost done here. Here we go. Now let's chop up that last stem. Dicing it up into small pieces. All right, let's put this all into our boiling water. We're gonna do a quick steam here. Oh, it's a little hot, so take your time. All right, as soon as you pop those in, grab your colander and a bowl to drain the cauliflower in, or you can just stick your colander in your sink. All right, just push, putting, putting all of that in there. We're gonna leave it on high heat so that it comes back to a boil right away and does a really quick cook. Grab a spoon, just gonna smooth it all around and pop the lid back on. All right, let's let that steam on high heat. Oh, I 
forgot one little bit. Let's add that. That's what happens when you have a big head of cauliflower. There we go. Now it's all in there. Let's let that steam. And in the meantime, let's get the topping ready for our chicken curry. We've got cilantro. Now cilantro adds a bunch of fresh flavor and a bright green color on top. It's perfect for a curry here. We're just giving it a quick dice. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's a little rough quick dice there. And it's ready to go. All right. Now our cauliflower is steaming away. Let's check our chicken curry that's been in the crock pot. All right. This is full of reds and oranges, and the chicken is nice and soft. The this, this, um, raisins have added nice little sweetness right along there with the apple. So what we're gonna do, grab a chunk of chicken and essentially pry it apart with a fork. Just do a quick shredding. Reach in there and it will just fall apart. Let's see if I can find a big piece. Oh, see it just falls apart. As soon as I try to grab a big piece, see how it just all falls apart? That's awesome. Keep doing that until your chicken's all shredded up. Might have to search around in there because they're thighs and there's several of them in there. And they'll want to play a game, try to run away. All right. Oh, there's one more. Now the curry has added a nice yellow tinge to this dish, and I love that. You can smell the curry wafting up, it's delicious. All right, that's all shredded up and ready to go. Let's push it off to the side. You have your colander and your bowl that are ready to go. Now what you can add to the mashed cauliflower is a little olive oil and salt and pepper. It really brightens up the cauliflower and adds a lot of flavor. Let's do a quick check here. Oh, it's steaming nicely. Let's give it about five minutes and then we're gonna mash it. All right. All right, grab your hot pad. Let's turn off the cauliflower and drain it. I'm just gonna pour it into my colander and that will drain out any water that's left. All right, let that drip out. I'm gonna dump it back into my pot and mash it up now. Set the water and colander aside and grab my potato masher. Now when we mash the cauliflower and it's steamed for a little bit, it gets a nice rice-like texture. Makes it fun to eat with a topping on top. So the, the chicken curry on top of this is delicious. All right. Now what I'm gonna add here is a little drizzle of olive oil. Just do a quick run on top. That adds a lot of flavor depth to the cauliflower. I'm gonna add a nice pinch of salt too. All right, and mash that in. Super easy. You don't have to have a rice or you don't have to have anything fancy. And you have a wonderful rice cauliflower. All right, I think I've got all the bits there. Let's serve it up. Got my chicken curry right there. Give it a good stir to mix all those flavors. Now I'm gonna grab a plate, throw on a little cauliflower. Nice bed of cauliflower, really. And then top that off with the chicken curry. Look at that. Now, to finish it, add a bright green of the cilantro. That is one delicious paleo meal. Enjoy.